Okay, fine. Uh, my name is Issa Aliu Shata. I work with Conga, but I heard um, Conga pay. And I also have on this call um, Kudus Demitokwe, who is the agent manager for our agency banking. So he will be um, taking a lot of questions, feedbacks, and giving you all those um, feedbacks that you want to hear for those of us who are interested in being agents. But quickly, let me give us a quick introduction about what Conga Pay is. Conga Pay is a licensed mobile money company by CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria. We also have a PSSP license. In principle, that is Payment Service Solution Provider license. And um, all of what you heard Demi Sola said about the e-commerce, of course, there's a payment part of it where when you come to Conga itself, you are either selling or you're buying. So we at Conga Pay are the one that powers that payment gateway for you. Now, beyond powering the payment gateway to ensure that we give you um, efficient and quality services, we also are involved in agency banking. And agency banking is largely um, spreading in Nigeria today. Um, if you know, there are a lot of um, communities where you have on the sub or on the, the rich of what you need people and then who cannot have from access there, to we continue to build So Conga Pay is actually most important giving you the touch point start making to be able to carry out transactions. We are bringing um, finance close to your doorstep. So the agenda for us by January next year is to be in every street in Nigeria. And to help us achieve that, we have signed a lot of strategic partnership where we have thousands and thousands of POSs that will be disbursing out there for people to be able to carry out transaction. But more importantly is that we are also registering customers and our customers are increasing on a daily, on a monthly basis to ensure that for every time that you move on your street, and our customers you have are ten, increasing every out of every ten monthly basis, at least to ensure nine. that should be for a every pay time that you move because our agents and our customers are ten every out of every ten monthly basis. Now let me at least to ensure that should be for every time that you move on your street, our customers are ten every out of every ten monthly basis. Now let me at least to ensure that to run us through that process that should be for every time the business case study for this. A lot of people just see most of all of the people who carry POSs on the street, I think is because they don't have job. So they decided to go into agency banking. The answer is no. What I can guarantee you is that for agency banking alone, you will not work for anybody for the rest of your life if you know how to manage your float, your liquidity, and target the locations. Twenty hours. So this is just a short introduction for business. And one of those major areas are areas or locations where you have traffic, food traffic, where you know that people always have the need to have access to cash or they have access to finance. So you will be providing all of that. And the agenda for us is to be in everywhere in Nigeria, the entire 77,000 local government in Nigeria. So I will pause here and allow us to be in everywhere the process in Nigeria, of becoming an agent, how you can become an agent in Nigeria. The numbers so of transactions you can be doing on a daily basis and allow us to, to in every the makes of 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 and, and how you can become, become an agent in Nigeria. Your business the numbers of transactions you can be doing on a daily basis and allow us to do from here. Thank you very much, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Now, thank you, Mr. Issa, for the brief explanation on Conga Pay and what our Conga Pay agency does to customers nationwide as well. So uh, let me just be, give a bit um, addition to what Conga Pay Agency can do. You know, literally, you can become a mobile money agent as well as banking services to your customers. Conga Pay Agency uh, provides you with several services such as cash transfer, card transfer, withdrawal, and bill payments. And we have uh, the bill payments, which actually have uh, airtime, 
Go TV, DSTV, Star Times, subscriptions, and electricity as well. And Conga Pay gives um, agents the best prices and fair commissions, which enable our agents to compete favorably among other agents and still be profitable with uh, the business. So we, as a Conga Pay agent, you, you can never be alone when, when using the periods because you will definitely have customers coming in to perform transactions. I've been listening to, and I listened to what each and every one of us said that somebody saying that I have, uh, I sell phones. Somebody says that he or she sell beverages. You have lots of customers coming into your shop to buy these beverages. And more, more or less, you can actually, for you, for customers coming into to your shop to get these beverages, you can as well have these periods. You can see, let me just give a brief scenario. A customer walks in into your shop and he or she does not have the cash at hand to pay for the goods and services you want to give to the customer. But however, with the availability of the POS with you, the customer will be like, ah, wow, you have a POS here. Can I withdraw from you? From there, you withdraw for the customer and give the customer the cash. So, and with this, the, you are trying to bring in customers we are trying to bring in customers to your business. And with this, customer actually understand that, yes, if he or she wants cash, I can actually visit uh, Mr. Abamusa Abubakar shop to get my cash. I can actually visit this, this, this person to get my cash. So there's always a trust in the business. And what Conga Pay actually offers and the POS, it's a very, very swift very, very swift. It is, the usability is very, very swift. It is easily, and you can well understand how to use it in lines of each seed. Uh, in the process of you getting uh, the POS is uh, very, very straightforward. You just, number one is just for you to indicate, indicate an interest that yes, I, I want to become an agent. I want to start making money. There is a lot of Profits you can make using the POS. Even for use using your POS to start a business, you see that it is well, well, well profitable than uh, uh, doing any other businesses. And you can actually add this POS business into uh, the uh, several businesses you have because customers, you don't expect customers to come in with cash. Customers will be like, ah, I only have transfer with me. Do you accept transfer? And it will not be like a case of MM, I don't have a transfer, but I can only accept cash. But with the use of the PS, can say, yes, I have a transfer. And this is my account number, transfer to you. Once you confirm that, you give the uh, customer the service he or she wanted. So that is how this POS uh, comes in place. And like what Mr. Is, uh, is, uh, actually said, we actually, the plan is for us to be everywhere in Nigeria everywhere in Nigeria that you have close to nine to 10 customers coming to your shop on a daily basis to perform transactions. And Conga Pay give you that privilege to give uh, the best uh, services to your customer. And, actually, and you, for you to also add added advantage to your businesses at large. So that is what Conga Pay does at the moment. And in, in order for you to become a Conga Pay, I'll be, I'll, if you would like to become an agent with us and would like to become a, a partner with Conga Pay, I'll be sending you an email address where you need to send in your name, your phone number, your uh, email address as well. You send it to the email address. So from there, we'll, we'll, we'll take it up. We contact you, we'll have a conversation with you. There are processes which you, you need to become an agent. You must show an evidence that yes, we are ready, which is the first indication that shows that yes, we are ready to become this agent. By, and secondly, you must ensure that yes, you have a float, a minimum float to perform this transaction. This minimum float does not necessarily mean that it has to be 1 million, it has to be 500,000, but you have to show that yes, you have at least, at least 20 to 30,000 there at hand. And this simply means that for you having 20 to 30,000 at time, some people will be like, well, if I don't have 20 to 30,000 at time, how will I perform this transaction? It is very, very important for you to have a cash with you. It is very important for you to have a float with you. 
Because without this float, if a customer visits you and this customer says that he or she wants cash, how do you give this customer the cash if you don't have the float with you? So this must show that, yes, you are ready for the business. And we, we, the, the way we charge cost your agents is very, very profitable. And the way you charge your customers, the differences between the two will make you more profitable in the business. And if, if you have any other questions um, around that, I'm open to that as well. I can see, yes, I can see Mr. Abubakar. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Okay, so we want to take a few questions now. While I try to unmute Mr. Abubakar, I think one question that I saw in the, in the comment section was, um, will we be paying for the POS um, devices ourselves? So Mr. Issa, could you please speak to that while I look for Mr. Abubakar? Hello? Okay, so I've got two Mr. Abubakas with their hands up. So I'm going to go for Abubakar Musa Seidu. And maybe Mr. Issa will take the two questions. Okay, Mr. Abubaka, the floor is yours. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I want to appreciate for this program. Uh, my question is, will this uh, Konga pay? Is it possible to have access to credit in terms of maybe loan to customers and how can we also incorporate this when we have uh, products that are not actually visible but that are online and customers want to pay with them because there are times customer will tell you that he has a virtual card not necessarily pay well. so what is Conga doing in terms of that? Thank you so much, Mr. Um, Mr. Issa, are you still here with us? I'm struggling to get Mr. Issa. Um, so I think uh, Mr. Bubaka's question, so the first question was, are we paying for the POS? Sorry, sir. Hello. Hi, okay, brilliant. Sorry, um, I'm so sorry. This is Lara, but please can you unmute Temitokwe so that Isa, um, Temitokwe, Isa can respond or Temitokwe will respond to your questions. Okay, let me just find Temitokwe. What's Temitokwe's um, uh, login? Because the Temitokwe is not coming up. Okay, please hold on. I'll just need to reconfirm that. Thank you so much. Okay, so the questions were um how do we do the pos are we paying for it how much is it and then the last question was um are there any credit facilities and then how do we incorporate the pos system into online purchases i think that's correct if not please do um if not please do comment in the comment section uh, while we still wait for mr isa let's look for another question uh, do we have any other questions? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry again. Um, so can you check Kudus? Okay, Kudus. Can you talk well? I'm not having any luck with that as well. Um, Yusuf, tell me talk well. Tell me talk well, Yusuf, please. Oh, Yusuf, okay. Yusuf, yes. Okay, great. Um, I found a few Yusufs. I'm just scrolling down to find Timmy Talk by Yusuf. But even, um, Lara, but you can do it yourself from there. You can just cl click on, on it and, because uh, I'm still struggling here. I can't find Timmy Talk by Yusuf. Unless I'm spelling Yusuf incorrectly. Y U S U F. 
Okay. We will figure out how to deal with that. Okay. Abdul Malik Mohammed has a question. And I had someone with their hand up now, but I lost. The attendance link will soon be shared. Um, but we need answers to these questions. These questions are very important. So we're looking at um, how much the device costs. Are we the ones paying? Are there any credit facilities? So those are the three questions currently. Um, Still can't get. Let me talk about you soon. Um, uh, good morning. Yes, I'm back. Oh, William. Uh, so I would like to get the first question, which says that is the PS, how much is the PS? We are not um, selling the PS. The PS is given for free. And what the agent will just need to do is to indicate the, uh, that he or she is ready to use uh conga pps here she's ready to make use of conga pps to perform transaction and indicates that he or she has these tools as well to perform transaction i believe i get that right please yes that's correct um so i think the next question was about credit are there any credit facilities um, that are available? Yes, we've partnered with several uh, microfinance banks that gives uh, credit to agents. But this actually had to come that uh, this agent shows the, the first thing I said, the willingness to use the peers. And that we actually give us uh, the assurance to give credit to agents. Okay, brilliant. So the willingness. Um, the next one, are agents get paid monthly or not? Are we to be paid as agents? Will they be paid yeah, the, as uh, the way we actually do this is you get paid as a goal, at a goal. You get paid at a goal. Once you perform your transactions, you get your commissions immediately. Okay, so once you perform your transaction, you get commission. So you are not paid. Like what you do is you. So it's an automated commission given to agents once our transaction is being performed. So with what we said, like what I said, that there are processes in performing transactions. Let me just give a brief instance on how this is being done. So once an agent performs a transaction, let's say for instance, a customer meets an agent, and the agent says that, oh, I want five thousand naira from this customer. And from this 5,000 naira for you giving to this customer, you need to collect a charge against that 5,000 naira. Let's say you collect 100 naira for that 5,000 naira. So out of that 100 naira, there is a fee that, that is attached to that 5,000 naira that Conga pay with the dots, and which is 0.6%, and which equivalent to 30 naira that will be deducted. So you collecting 100 naira from the customer, you already know that out of this 100 naira, 30 naira is for Conga pay, and 70 naira is your own profits. So a detailed and commission structure will surely be shared as well. And doing training will surely uh, give our agents the tariff and commission structure. So for the agent to have a better understanding on how this works. Okay, brilliant, Mr. Issa. Um, the next question, please. How much transaction is to be performed per week? And then another one, I'm a student, but I'm interested. I, I really need to get that clearly, please. How much transactions is to be performed in a week? Then another person says that they are a student and they are interested. Are they allowed to do this if they are students? And how much transactions must be done? Minimum transactions weekly. So uh, weekly, the minimum transaction that is needed weekly is uh, 650,000 naira weekly. Minimum transactions. That's 650,000 naira weekly daily. 150,000 naira daily. And the account of transactions that uh, the person can do on a daily basis is the minimum is 50. And uh, for students, yes, you can you can come you can come on board. It's uh, the PS is open to everyone. 
brilliant. So as a student, yes, even the, the school area is a good area because- yeah, It's a good area, students. so you can come up. Student, is open to everyone. Yes. Okay. Then I must comment, there's a Mustafa Sade sharing a WhatsApp group link. The WhatsApp group is not from us. Um, Mr. Mustafa, you may wish to desist from doing this. We don't know what the WhatsApp group is about. So anybody that joins, you join at your own peril. I just said I should let you know. Um, a question from Sunday Pierce Adaji. How much is the commission? I think you just said 30%. Am I correct, sir? No, I said uh, the what I said earlier is that the actually the commission structure will be given to the agent upon uh, training, but I just need to give a brief explanation. We charge differently on transaction base. So the commission structure, it depends on the transaction you do. Let's, uh, the, this is how the commission structure looks like. From one from under to 19,000 to 19,999 we charge 0.6%. And from 20,000 to 500,000 we charge 120 naira flats. Okay, brilliant. So you all, we're also going to share um, the, Trans, the structure, commission structure in your emails after the session. So please right. make sure you fill the form. Um, there's a question from Raymond Guzman. I can't pronounce that, but I tried. How can Conga assist other markets connect freely with others? Can there a platform where we can be paid for providing goods on demand? I don't know if that's uh, amongst these questions. Then another one is, can businesses who received online payment transactions like transfer for their goods and services still use Conga Pay service? Yes, yes. Um, perfect. Okay. We have a payment link. Yes, we will, the, we, the, uh, person can use uh, Conga Pay to make payments. And we actually have a payment link, which is the most suitable use for customers in order to make payment for goods and services. Because with this payment link that is being shared, you just need to share this payment link to your customers. And from there, the customer will make payments to your account or whatsoever. Okay, brilliant. Um, as a person that says, this is Barry Ilefa, he says, how do I become a partner to help spread your POS to my sphere of business influence? I can help spread 5,000 POS in four months. So he doesn't just want to be a, a, an end agent. He wants to be a partner. Is, that, is this something that's possible? Uh, that, is, that is perfect. That's what I actually want to hear at the moment. We have a model at the moment. It's not only agent structure we are currently running at the moment. We are running a dealer structure, likewise, an alligator structure, which I believe uh, the person that just asked that question will fall into the dealer structure, which I'm willing to have a, a further conversation with that person at the moment. So we have uh, three structures in our business at the moment, which is the agent, dealer, and navigator. Okay, so brilliant. So Mr. Barry Ilefa, I think it will be good if you uh, send us over your details so that we can get you on board These as structures a partner. in our business, um, which is the agents. Let's see any more questions. I'm just going through. I have a question. You so need to type so Mr. So Barry Ilefa. Commissions are earned for every you, transaction. Uh, send us over your details so that platform. we can Bearing in get mind you on as board as your charge of customers. Let's see any more questions. How can I have access to the common agent in the board? So Mr. Barry Ilefa, commissions are earned for every transaction. Send us over your details so that we can bear in mind as your board as your charge of customers. Let's see any more questions. How can I have access Yes, sir. Monthly targets. And why should we choose Conga POS over others in the market? Oh, there's a lot of questions. Are we still here, Mr. Issa? Okay, I think we're having um, some... Uh, network issues and unfortunately i can't all right. answer yeah. all right please uh, thank you very much i'll need you to actually recap the question so that i can take it one after the other oh apologies okay let me see if i can go back and find some of the questions um how do we resolve 
how do Conga resolve transaction disputes? Oh, thank you very much for that. So, so how we resolve the transaction disputes, we are very, 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 I'm saying very, 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 very fast in resolving issues at um, the agent's end because we understand that customers sitting in front of agents want transactions as quick as possible. So we, and we never take that from that day from the start of this business. So we create a water, we create a water group for agents, which agent can have the chat to us and we give the uh, reactions to the agent within one minute. And we have um, an email, which agent can also send us a message, which we respond back uh, as in within two to three minutes. And we have a phone call as well, which the agent can call us on. And we report issues. And the way we actually do our peers, once an agent is not uh, suitable with a transaction or wants to raise a dispute, the agent can easily click on that exact transaction and raise a dispute to that transaction that will respond to the agent as quick as possible. Okay, that's brilliant. So. Um... Then there was the question of a monthly, uh, what's it called now? Is there a monthly? Uh, is, that, is, that, is that a monthly target? Yeah. Yes, a monthly target, yes. Yeah, uh, on, on a monthly target, uh, minimum, the agent should uh, turn in more than 3 million on a monthly target. Okay, so your monthly target is a minimum of 3 million. Yes. Then what if you don't meet up to the target? Screen, window, screen, screen. So the once uh, the, the thing is we, we understand how the business flows. We understand, we understand, but the most important thing is to ensure that you perform transactions daily. We you know in every area we definitely are the top, mid, and bottom uh agents. You understand what I mean? So, but it's just to show and put uh, the agent abreast that. On a, day, on a monthly basis, you must meet up to these targets. This month, you might not meet up to these targets, but <laughs> you, you never can say another month can come on board. You can meet the target and even exceed the targets. Okay, so that's brilliant. Um, a lot of the questions here have been, I'm interested, how do I um, get involved? So there's a form that you're supposed to select POS. The form has been shared. Um, Let's see if I can share again. So select the POS option on that form and we will be in touch with you. Um, so that's that's the link for the form again. The attendance link will be shared shortly. Please, I need the video to watch over because I've missed a lot. The video is actually on Conga's Facebook page. So if you go to Conga's Facebook page, you'll see it there. You'd also see it on the Ministry of Youth and Sports um, Facebook page. Internship, we'll get to that shortly. Can someone become both an agent and a partner at the same time, Mr. Issa? We have that available. Perfect. Okay. They said 3 million is too much for starters. Give it a go first and then you'll see how you get on. I think that's the best thing to say. Um, yes. I think, um, Sorry, there, there was a question about somebody who said how can he become an agent in Bornu? So yes, yes. once you go on our platform, you can register from anywhere on the planet. All you just need to do is to upload your documents and we are going to approve it back end and naive. Okay. Wherever you are, you can be part of this. So you just upload your documents once you, once you are contacted over the next few days um, or once you're given the link, then you'll know the link and then you'll know exactly what to do. I'm still looking through to see if there are any more questions. The internship will get back to you on that. You want the POS machine, you will get the information on that. Okay, so another uh, question. Sorry, I'm seeing a question here, which somebody says that, can someone subscribe to all the services on ground? Yes, you can. Okay. Then another question, why should we choose Conga POS over others in the market? Yes, uh, I like that question. And thank you because number one, Conga POS is a, is a, it's a hybrid platform which agents can use to perform their transaction. Not that alone, 
like we've we've had uh, the, the previous um communicator who said that we have conga online which you can leverage on we have our logistic team with our logistic business which you can leverage on we have our fmcg business which you can leverage on and conga pay is the only mmo company that has an e-commerce affiliation and also other businesses which you can leverage on. For you to become a Conga Pay agent, you have several streams of business which you can leverage on. And we have our stores that are available in over uh, the 36 states, and we have like, uh, which you can easily visit. We only give, and we, what we do at the moment now is that we ensure that our agent can visit any of our stores to get cash, even though if cash is not available, in the bank for them to do transactions. And not only cash alone, means cash as well. Wow, means cash, that's great. Um, can you speak to, can you speak about the dealer aspect in general, instead of just the individual? All right, uh, on the dealer aspect, which is the apex of all, it's more or less like uh, the dealer coming in uh, as a big partner to Conga Pay, and this dealer has uh, a stream of more than five or 4,000 agents, which he can onboard. And for a dealer, a dealer can actually get a navigator that will get these agents and I, uh, for all get the agents directly. So on this dealer aspects, we have uh, two options for this dealer aspect. Is either the dealer is quite uh, outlightly dependent on us or is dependent on his platform to perform this transaction. Uh, why did I say it's dependent on his platform is that this dealer does not have the MMO license to perform this agency banking, but he or she is looking for a company that he can leverage on to give this uh, platform available to his agents. We have that available. Okay. I see great mutual business prospects with Conga in terms of customer care number and telemarketing. I would like to communicate further with Conga team. I can be reached on, he sent his details. Um, We'll, we'll try to reach you. Um, if you're going to, are you going to load the POS for starter? Are we? So I, are you going to load the POS for starter? So I think you spoke about that with the loans that come from the microfinance bank. Yes. Okay. So I think that's about it on this particular section. Um, so more information about how to get on board will be sent to you. The attendance form will also be shared. Anything that does not come from the conga handle, please do not click on it because we will not be liable. Yeah, sorry. Um, just like you mentioned earlier in your opening, Lee, you did talk about the fact that people are going to be going home with you know some little largesse here and there, and conga pay is magnanimous enough to actually give the first five or 10 people who register, you know, some of these ledgers. Um, Timmy Tokbo is going to share a link with us. So the fastest fingers will actually be benefited eventually. Okay, brilliant. So please keep your eyes peeled on the comment section because that link is going to come anytime. I'm not going to tell you when exactly it's going to come, but just keep watching the comment section because it's not coming now but it will come at any time. So keep watching the comment section and let's not clog it up. Um, so um, let's see. So who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay, so just a second. So I think we'll now be speaking about the affiliate programs and the benefits of the program, which will be done by Laraba. Um, Laraba, are you available? Let's just give Laraba a minute or two to get to us. Um, I hope so far we've all benefited a lot from this because I have actually benefited a lot and I, I will try to become an affiliate if that's allowed. Um, Mr. Isa Yahya wants to speak. So let's see if we can grant Mr. Isa Yahya the opportunity to speak while we're waiting for Laraba to join us. So Mr. Isa Yahya, I've unmuted you. 
So you may wish to unmute yourself. And when you are done speaking, please do remember to mute yourself back again. Isa Yaya. Um, oh, okay. Good, good like money. Am I on now? Okay. Who am I speaking to now? I'm Isa Yaya. Okay, speaking good. from Abuja. Awesome. Mm. Okay. So um, you want to I'm really grateful for this opportunity put together by Ministry of Sport and Youth and uh, Conga. Mm. I want Conga to understand that um, the helping of youth out there should not only depend on the um, selling um, business idea to the youth. Rather, it should be give and take. What I mean in the real sense is that um, the youth should also be given opportunity by Conga to bring idea, fresh idea, something that can improve the situation. And um, I'm saying this because um, I, for one, we are developing um, something that I think it will benefit the youth and even the conga itself. And this opportunity come earlier than I have shared with. I've been looking forward on how to meet conga and discuss some of those issues with them and see how we can bring civil servants closer to conga. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, so, so that seems to be like it's a necessary. It's necessary for that to be a private conversation. Don't share all your ideas yes. here, where you have thousands of people listening. No, no, so what you I, do? I, 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 I understand. Yeah. So what you do? Send okay. a direct I, message. Hold on, just a second. Send a direct message, and then we'll be in touch with you via the direct message, and we'll have a meeting and see how we can explore these opportunities. So thank you so much. We are so excited about this uh, possible opportunity. So how, what medium will I send a direct message? Is it send here on the, in to the host or co-host? Oh, yes, to the host of either of the two is fine. So over to Laraba now. Laraba. Hello, Kemi. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Great to have you here. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to speak with everyone. Um, I'm really delighted. And then it seems like I've been enjoying the session from the very beginning and, well, I guess there's so much to learn. Okay, so I'll uh, basically just be I'm speaking about, um, I'll try to touch the point about um, affiliate and um, sales agents. That's um, the bit where you can conveniently earn commission or I'll say make money generally. I'll just say through conga.com. So basically now I'll just like to, first of all, introduce the, SME scheme, which is more like the sales agent's bit. So now Conga actually has this scheme that gives the opportunity to empower individuals, that is agents in this aspect also, rewards while they promote FMCG products. So now in this context, FMCG products basically are fast moving consumer goods. So for everyone here, I'll basically just try to quickly explain that. So I want us to understand that basically our daily needs um, when I say our daily needs, basically what we use day in, day out, our toiletries, our, um, the food we eat, let's say rice, oil, noodles, um, detergents, all these little things that we use daily and people buy on the spot. We have the opportunity to sell them at the best prices. So we're giving the opportunity also to people, that is agents, to sell this or to buy them as resellers and earn while they do this. So in this scheme, we have agents that we have will be tasked with the responsibility of promoting this FMCG products to their localities. So for instance, you can be an agent, you can be an agent and help resellers buy from Conga 
resellers can buy all of this from Kona. So for instance, someone said, I sell, I sell, I have a kiosk and I sell Coca-Cola. I sell different things. Let's say you sell noodles, for instance. You can buy all of this from Conga directly because we'll sell it to Over you at the best price in, the in bulk. And then you can resell them. So it's an opportunity for you as a reseller. You can buy all of this from Conga directly. And also because we'll yes, sell it you to you at the opportunity to in bulk. And commissions and while you also you can resell them. So we are using this as an opportunity for you as a reseller. You can buy all of this from Conga directly. And also because we'll sell it to you at the opportunity to in bulk. And commissions while you also you can resell them. We are using this as an opportunity for you as a reseller. You can buy all of this from Conga directly. And also because we'll sell it to you at the opportunity to in bulk. And commissions while you also you can resell as well as convenience of these orders to be fulfilled to your location. So basically, I'm saying that as an agent, right, all you need to do is to help us to acquire resellers. So you can be a reseller on your own. For instance, maybe you have a, a store. Or you might not have a store. You can help people who do not have stores to buy and also earn commissions. So you would help us acquire resellers within your environment. Those are the ones around you because we believe that you and have also direct access to these people. You can so speak their language. you would help us. They know you, they trust you to some level. So definitely you have all of this at your back and forth. Then also you can help us onboard these resellers. When I mean onboard them, these people who sell all of these um, fast moving products, right? You can help us get their information so that definitely we can reach out to them when we have good deals, new products, and also when we're having good promotional offers. Then also you have the responsibility as an agent to track the performance of those around you. When I mean this, I mean, definitely you have signed up, let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 people. You are tasked with the responsibility to sh show that, okay, Mrs. A, ah, she has this amount of product. She bought this amount in the month of this. She might be running out of stock. I will tell her we have new items. So you have the responsibility to trust their performance as well as also know how they're doing. So it's, you have the sole responsibility to manage their welfare as well. So in all of this, what I said also, we're ensuring our value proposition is to ensure that we give you the best prices. And when I mean best prices, prices that you cannot get elsewhere. We're going to ensure that delivery will be made to their locations and also genuine products are guaranteed. And also definitely in doing all of this, it is, it is believed that you will be a bit tech savvy to an extent. When I mean tech savvy, because you will be making all these orders online and yes sometimes you can reach directly through our contact our whatsapp numbers to ask for requests but it's also good for you to have all of this information at your own um at, at your own access so that you can even see how well you're performing now i just want to quickly explain the process flow so now this process flow basically is i would assume that the people that will be taking note of all of these are those who are truly interested in becoming agents for the FMCG, um, the uh, FMCG category. Now, you definitely, as an agent, would help you, will give you a form where you keep all the data that um, the form to um, record the, um, the resellers you possibly be managing. And then when you receive the forms, you fill the forms, there will be definitely a request that will be sent to us. When you send the request to us, and the customer pays, once the customer pays, the order will be processed and the order will be shipped out. And then for each of these processes, you'll be informed and you'll be updated because you are responsible for each of all these resellers that you are bringing on board. So throughout this process flow, definitely you have access to us, you have access to information and definitely you'll be informed throughout this whole session. So it's, it's quite easy. All you need to do is fill up a form of the resellers that you have onboarded, if they have requests, because I believe that sometimes when you reach out to these resellers, they don't order immediately, but however, you need to still follow up because it is something different that they are not used to. So you follow up with them. When their requests come through, then we see that, okay, the customer has paid. After the customer pays, 
then we ship and process the products. We process uh, the products. So in all of this, it's just, it goes to show that each process is a bit, um, for FMCG, now I've spoken directly to FMCG, which are the day-to-day -day products that people need around you. Now, I'm also going to let you know that in doing all of this, you also have the opportunity to promote other categories. So, <coughs> excuse me, beyond, beyond the FMCG category, you have the opportunity to promote electronics, mobile devices, fashion, you have to, you can promote other categories. But also, you also need to know that if you are focusing on resellers or if you're, sorry, if you're focusing on resellers that do FMCG, those are a different class of people. You can also focus on other people as an affiliate now who need other things. For instance, now in your house, in your home, for instance, you might have someone who needs to buy a phone. You might have someone who wants to get a new dress. It's Christmas time, the person wants to buy um, a perfume or anything the person wants. There's the opportunity to also make commission from those little items that they would want. And some people might not even have access to, oh, they don't know where to get this. Because on Conga, basically, trust me, you can find almost everything you're looking for. Almost everything you're looking for. The weirdest things, you will find them on Conga. So you can help people within your reach, but not even just your reach, people you have direct access to. Now, as I'm just speaking as an athlete, whether online or offline, you have the opportunity to reach so many people and earn commission. These commissions vary per category. It's very important to know that. So definitely, if you if you sell a mobile device, there's a commission you get for that one. If you sell a television, there's a commission. So the structure differs, and then you can find that on our path. So as an affiliate, for instance, now, if you are promoting, there are different opportunities for you to promote. Um, I'll, trust me, your next the person sitting next to you is, is your customer, believe it or not. As an affiliate, how you operate, this, this also operates a bit different, but um, it's almost the same thing. For these, what you do is <clears throat> you are assigned a link. People can buy through that link or buy through you. What I mean by through the link is because you can promote in different methods. You can promote via social media. You can promote through word of mouth. You can promote if you have a blog, anything. You can promote through those little parent platforms or Instagram, WhatsApp, you have it, you, know, you name it rather. So you can promote through these channels. So as an affiliate, you'll be assigned a link. When you, are, when you are assigned a link, people who shop through your link or through you, get, they get, um, you get commissions from those orders. It's being processed from our own end, and then you get your commission at the end of the next, at the at the end of the next month, because we have to, we, we, when, when we do the recording and when we do the computing of all this data, we have to ensure that the items that have been ordered have been delivered. So there's a, a time frame that we have to give to process all of these orders. So if you order today, then we ensure that in the next month, which is January, we'll see that the orders, we believe that by then the orders would have been delivered and then you get your commission. So as an affiliate, you can promote FMCG the same way as, as um, an FMCG promoter, you can also promote other categories. It's a, it's a two-way stream, just that if you want to focus on the FMCG scheme, for instance, I want to believe that some people already existing, some people are already focused on, let's say, groceries. For instance, you, do, you deal with food items already. It will be a good thing to leverage basically on the FMCG because you can do high volumes. Trust me, we have people who do truck loads, like joke, you won't believe it. Some people request for truck loads of um, spaghetti from Lagos and then we ship it all the way to them and they make commission off it. Now, trust me, we should not even do the calculation of how much you'll be earning. Sometimes some people do consolidated buying because, <clears throat> excuse me, not just you might want the truck, but a couple of people can come together and say, okay, they want to buy um, this truck, um, they, they, want the, they want to buy this volume. Someone says, okay, I can help you get this done. When the truck comes, everybody splits the products in it. So there's so many ideas, there's so many ways you can conveniently make money. Trust me. And then it seems like there's, on Conga, there's something for everyone because 
whether you are buying, whether you are, whether like Danny Solar came and spoke about how you can sell your products. You, as a seller, you can even buy from us and resell on our platform. It's that simple. Now we have agricultural category too. You can even, if you can, you can sell. So it's the opportunity is limitless. It's just in your hand to decide. Okay, this is what I want to focus on, or this is what I, I want to try this. I want to try this out, and when I try this out, I can see that oh. Because you, see, the, the, the most interesting thing is that you will see the results yourself because you have access to all of this information. And then we're very transparent. Your platform is your platform. You see your numbers and then you have full access to us. There's nothing to hide. There is no magu magu. There is no um, fraud in any way because it's not today that we're starting off all of this. So the opportunity is there. It's just up to you to decide, do I want to focus on FMCG products because I have the strength in doing that? Oh, well, I'm good. Focus on that. Try that out. And then while you're marketing your FMCG products, your customer can just say, I, I even need to change my, my phone. Or my television has this issue. I need to fix it or something. Those are the opportunities that you can also leverage on and see how you can move. But if you want to focus on, maybe you have a blog, you have, you have very, you are an influencer on social media. You can use that chat. conveniently. You don't even need to stress it. All you need to do is you can also become an affiliate and focus there on, any category that interests you. If it's cooking, someone spoke about the fact that she 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 has um, you know Bumasha that she bakes and all of that. If you have a blog, so even as a baker, for instance, you can write about all of this equipment and then people come and buy from you. So you can buy your product from us. You can sell your product through us. So it's a it's a it, it's a continuous process that honestly there's so much to leverage on. So I don't know if there are questions in respect to what I've said so far or concerns, please just, um, I'll be willing to answer them. Thank you so much, Lava. So I took away everyone's hands up and now we've got four, five, six hands up. It just keeps going. So we're gonna oh, wow. start from Anita Atibaka. Anita Atibaka, you may wish to unmute yourself. Oh, sorry, Anna. You may wish to unmute yourself now. Anna? Anna, unmute yourself. Anna? Anna, your question, please. OK, so we're not having any luck with Anna. <laughs> Esther. Esther Egbo. Uh, so we have Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Hello. Hello, good morning. 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 Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Good morning. About fast moving consumer goods like blue veggies. About fast moving consumer So we're having difficulty hearing everyone. Anna, are you speaking? Anna? Hello. I'm with you, please. Good morning. Yes. After placing the order on Goose, like fast moving because you may go. Let me say, I want to place order for Coca Cola products or okay. Arusi. Those are fast moving because you may go, right? Yes. Please. How? Do how do they get delivery? How do they get delivered? Those goods get delivered to them. Or, or directly? Or how is the logistic being carried out? Okay, so now the beautiful thing about it is that we have our logistic partners, P Express, who handle delivery. So it's something we already do. We've been doing it for years. And so it's something that comes Try it out first of all, and just see. We could order something. I don't know if you've ever ordered on Conga, Conga before. So it's we have a logistics partner that handles all of our delivery. K Express. That's our 
um, Care Express, we will I definitely can... hand, handle delivery of those products. I know you guys have. Yeah, Jen. My question is, those people ordering in bulk. Yes. Let me say, someone wants to order hundred cases, two hundred cases of yes. Coca Cola products. Yes. How do you deliver? Do you charge the person for delivery, because the delivery costs can be discouraging. Like let me say, delivery from Lagos, delivery costs might discourage the buyer. Okay, so basically. No, for and basically for bulk orders, definitely there's already an agreement. Definitely there's an agreement to that. So it's all of these costs definitely will be factored one way or the other. However, we are guaranteeing you that for us to want to deliver to you, it means that it's going to be something still beneficial to you. Right? Because one, we have control of the logistics already. So it's not like and we're going to rent or we're going to. You understand what I mean? So we already have control of all of this. We currently do that, we do it present. We send items to the um, to the southeastern part of um, Nigeria, currently in truckloads, drinks and the likes. And so it's, it's a case of definitely we can have that done. It's a conversation of what's the value of what you're buying. And then we get to see, there will be a balance to it. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Offline. And then um, moving to the next person now, Edmark Peter. So the last person that spoke, please remember to mute yourself after you finish speaking. Then Edmark Peter, you may wish to unmute yourself, Edmark. Okay, Mr. Edmark Peter, the floor is yours. Mr. Ed Peter, give you a couple of seconds to speak. If not, I'll mute you and move to Henry Oriri. Henry Oriri, please be ready when I unmute you. Henry Oriri. Hello. Hello, good morning. I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have. Uh, three questions. I had a, uh, a network issues, so I was cut off a bit. I can't exactly get where we are, but I heard you speaking about a uh, onboarding. I've been meaning to ask questions concerning the onboarding uh, uh, stuff. How do we onboard our products? What are the procedures getting our products on onboard the uh, Kunga platform. That's number one. Number two. Sorry, are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. Secondly, issue of delivery. That's trans transportation this time around. When you have your goods, supposing uh, you are on board now, then somebody orders your products or your uh, commodities. You want to uh, ship to that person. How do we do that? Is it through your partners or Kunga facility, direct uh, Kunga facilities? Then the, the cost, I've had this experience. When I order something on a, an e-commerce e platform, I will mention the, the platform. Before it was shipped to me, the price as per transportation eventually made the commodity, at the end of the day, the cumulative price to be exactly the same with what I'll buy on a, in the open market. And this time around, I had to transport myself, get on a, into the crew, to go to, to collect it from where it was supposed to be, uh, from the point where I'm supposed to collect it. So everything logistics put together makes the, made the, the, the item I was going to purchase even more expensive than what I'll get in the open market. So what is uh, Kunga's uh, 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 arrangement to make these things more, at least a little bit ch cheaper, so that it will not be somebody who wants to buy. Everybody wants value for money, so that if you can get to go go to the market with less stress and you get your tin where you can see directly, you know what what is what is not good, then you buy. Then compared to what you are going, to, what is going to be delivered from an online store, 
So one should be at least cheaper than the other. So that's why I'm asking the what uh, Konga has in store or their, their programs for making this thing uh, more affordable and cheaper so that even the person who is selling can make sales. All right, thank you so much for the question. So basically, I have the expert here who's going to, Shadi, my colleague, she's going to respond to some of your questions because she's more focused on the merchant's part. She, the question, you you asked the question on onboarding, the question on delivery of products as a merchant, how is it being done? And you also spoke on cost of delivery. So Shadi would respond to these three questions. Then we can also go back to the rest of the question. So Shadi, yeah. Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so let me start with um, onboarding. So to come on board to um, Conga is actually very easy. I mean, all you have to do is um, just log into shq.conga.com. So basically, you just need a smartphone and a good network. So you log into um, www.shq.conga.com to sign up, right? Um, so all you have to do is fill in the store information. So this is basically on a personal level. So whatever name you want your store to carry, you just impute it. So it's your personal decision, right? Um, then you create your username and password. You fill in your personal data. And then you check your email. That means the email that you just um, filled in the form. You get an email for you to verify the email, right? And then you proceed to verify your phone number. And then you input the code that was also sent to your phone number for verification. So after you've done all that, you just log out and then log back in. And then I remember that Damisola mentioned earlier that at every point where you come on board, um, somebody will always be there to take you through the whole journey. So at that point, you have um, people that are assigned to give you a call, um, check on you, their trainings in place, um, just to ensure that the whole experience is seamless and you do not have any issues. So the first thing is get a smartphone, have a network, and then log into www.shq.conga.com. Once you start that, people will always reach out to you, right? Um, www.shq.conga.com. Okay. Yes, please. Um, okay, so once you're done with that, like I said, someone will always be there to call you to ask questions and then put you through. Okay, so with regards to listing the products on the site, right? Um, once you have your products, you've been verified and you start listing your products. With regards to delivery, um, Konga has um, a delivery arm and then you can be rest assured that we're going to fulfill all your deliveries. So um, the thing is, we understand that um, shipping might be expensive for customers, right? And then trust me, like Lara said, we are all, there's something for everybody. We constantly put um, measures in place to ensure that um, customers have um, top notch experience on the platform. So due to this reason, we have something we call Conga Prime. So it's like a free subscription plan for all deliveries. So if you're like, if, even if you're not, a, um, 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 what's it called now? If I'm not a frequent buyer on the platform, you can still key into this. I mean, but if you are, you get to enjoy free shipping. So it's like a subscription plan, the same way you subscribe for your DSTV, your GoTV or your data. You just subscribe, okay, so for Lagos now, however, we are just in um, Lagos and Abuja for now. We hope to um, broaden the O, oh, yes, expand very soon. So for, for now, we're in Lagos and we're in Abuja. So for Lagos, um, if you pay a thousand Naira, right, you get free delivery on all orders for a month, um, excluding very large items though, then that will be worked out. Then um, if you, then for three months, you can do 2,000 for 90. So that means you'll be getting free delivery on all your orders for just 2,000 for 90 for three months, right? Then for Abuja, a month is 1,000 to 90, and then three months will be 3,000 for 90. So you mean, this is just to show you that Konga, um, we're just innovative. We're always looking for ways to make people feel um, feel like, because we feel people's pain, right? Our customers, merchants, we are there, we're listening. We just want you to, to have the best experience. So you can be rest assured that um, 
Konda has everything planned out and then we'll always um, have innovations that will make sure that you have seamless experience. Right, I guess those are the two questions. Sorry, there's still one more question. The question on delivery of um, Conga product as a merchant. So how do they, okay, deliver, so, how does product get to the customer? Okay, so when an order is placed on your store, right? Um, you're required to, there's something we call an order number. So for every order, it comes with an order number. So when you get the order number, you're supposed to print out the um, order details. And then we have K Express location. So don't forget that I mentioned that K Express is our delivery arm. And so you have to go to one of the locations to um, drop off the item for them to ship. So it means that you also have to have a, um, a Conga packaging material because all orders placed on Conga have to be delivered with the packaging material. So once you get to the um, drop off location, you drop off the item and then the um, attendant takes it up from there. And then we ensure that the item is delivered within the time frame of the location the customer is in. So for every location, we have a delivery time frame, right? Um, I believe that answers the question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I have one minute. Okay. Sorry, can I ask a little, yes. add a little? Yes, that's fine. Uh, please, is it possible for this, uh, the address, the onboarding address, where we're going to apply, that should be sent to our emails? We all have our emails sent to register here. All right, well, we can work on that. Thank you. Can I omit? Hello. Okay, guys, so please, can we all mute ourselves so that we have a better experience here and we can round up quickly? So anybody that's spoken, please mute yourself. Brilliant. So now I'm going to unmute Ayomide Sunday. Ayomide Sunday, I'm asking you to unmute yourself now. So please unmute yourself and let's get your question. We have a lot of hands raised, so we're going to have to move swiftly so that we can finish on time. Ayomide Sunday, you've been asked to unmute yourself. Okay. okay. We're not getting any response from Ayomide Sunday. I think he has gone to get a POS somewhere. I am either Sunday. No. So, okay, let's try someone else. Chika Anyacho. Chika Anyacho, I'm trying to unmute you now. Chika Anyacho. Yeah. Good day, everyone. Please, please do ask your question. Okay, so um, um, my name is Chika, and um, I'm calling from Portacot. Um. I've tried to use Kunga a couple of times to make some others, but now I'm trying to come in as a merchant. And um, it's been quite interesting, some of the things that have been said. Um, I'm trying to see how to manage my client end so that even when we leverage the platform of Kunga, we'll still be able to reach them at something close to, you know, the distributor's uh, rates. What I mean by that is, is it possible that what I sell to the people that come to my shop, you know, the price at which I give them, is it possible that someone in Lagos, for instance, will be able to get it at that same rate? Um, and then I'll be able to get more market share. Thank you. Okay. Um, if I heard you correctly, you're asking if the price someone that walks into your store offline, if the person that purchases the item online and private person is out of state, if the price can be the same, right? That's the question, right? Okay, that's the question. Um, so because it's your product, right? And then you have, um, you know how much you got it from the um, manufacturer 
you know, source, right? Um, whatever price you put on the platform is the price everybody is going to purchase it, regardless of their location. If you're selling an item for 4,000 Naira, I'm in Lagos, I'm going to purchase it for 4,000. Someone in Kaduna will also purchase it for 4,000. The only difference is that um, the shipping fee will be slightly different because of the location, right? And um, that's why we're also introducing the Conga Prime initiative, right? So, I mean, people that are within that location where Conga Prime currently works can also have um, discounted prices for the shipping fee. So the cost of the item will be the same. However, shipping fee is based on the location of whoever it is, is ordering. Okay, thank you so much. Um, let's take two more questions before we move on. Um, I'm just trying to choose randomly. So that I'm not accused of uh, only choosing women, even though I cannot find a woman to choose right now. Um, let's see. Okay, I've seen Sophia Ukpabi. Sophia Ukpabi, I'm trying to unmute you now. Please try, please unmute yourself. Sophia Ukpabi. <laughs> Sophia, are you here? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, please, I want to ask some questions. Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. If, if a customer place a demand, you understand, to purchase a goose from Konga, how possible, as in, can that goose be, um, can it be brought down to the doorstep of the person, or how does it work? Okay, um, Sophia, so Conga does, um, the delivery harm of Conga, that is K-Express, we do last mile delivery, right? So it means that we'll deliver right to your doorstep. So we give you, um, there's a place where you can feel your delivery location. So you have to input your delivery location. So that could be your house, your office, anywhere, I mean, based on preference. However, we also have um, stalls where people can pick up from. And because of um, it has um, is attached to a lesser fare, so people prefer to do that. So it might have a store on your street, right? And then maybe the shipping, for instance, to the store is 350, while the one to your house is maybe 500. So some people would not mind having that delivered to their streets, the store on their streets, because it's um, lesser fare. But some people would actually prefer them to drop it at their doorstep. So Conga does the last mile delivery. Okay, okay, okay. Brilliant. So please help us mute yourself back again. Now I want to try to get to. Uh, wow, it's moving. But Gabriel Badamosi, Gabriel Badamosi, I'm trying to unmute you now. Please unmute yourself. Yes. Good morning, everybody. My name is Badamasi Gabriel. What I actually want to confirm is this issue of, uh, like, even if you're not buying it directly from Conga, I heard one of our speakers during the introduction, she said, if you're not buying it directly from Conga, but you can still use their, 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 their transport, like the means at which they transport their goods, that's their, their mode of express of transportation. So I want to ask how possible would this be? Like imagine you want to use their, their, their logistics. How should we go about it in order to transport our own goods? But these are not the goods we bought from Congo, but we just want to use their logistics. How possible it is. Thank you. Okay, so um, you all you have to do is um, get in touch with us. We'll give you um, one of the representatives number and then you can get um, their store location. So you see the one that is closest to you. All you have to do is just walk in and tell them you want to ship. Do you understand? And then you're just a working customer. They're going to um, weigh the item and then give you the delivery cost. I think they also have, um, I believe they also have a plan that um, if you're now a frequent um, customer that comes every other day to ship your item, they have a plan or some form of um, plans that are put in place that um, they have this agreement. I think it's going to be based on commission. 
I believe so. And then they can even get your payment. So, you know, sometimes um, you have, because you're not the one who is going to deliver the item, but you have a customer that wants to do POD. They want to pay on delivery, right? And then you're saying, oh, I'm, after all, I'm not even using my own dispatch company. I'm using Kongas. So we can actually do that for you. We'll um, register you as the, such customers. And then when we register you as such customer, we take your money on your behalf at the end of the day. So you, you, you ship to us, you give to us, we get it to your customer and then we receive the payment on your behalf. You let us know how much we're taking and then there's just a commission. But um, to buttress all that I've said, if you're going to key into that, we're going to link you up with a representative that will actually put you through the whole process, right? Sorry, is the representative around or how should I get to you by my own um, request? Currently, there's no one here from the delivery department. However, you can give us your contact details. We'll let someone reach out to you. Should I write the detail on the comment section? Sorry, you can. I just for us to just be sure that we don't mix yes, up. Yes, please. You can write the details with your question, your question, and your details. 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 So yeah. fine. If it's just like, yeah. You said what? He, what he's asking about? Then we can, because all comments will be will be dealt with. So I need us to use the comment section wisely, right? Because so that we don't clog it up. Um, so what are you okay. suggesting now? You can send a direct message as well with your question, your request, to Laraba, then your contact. To come so you Laraba. So you might just you could search for my name and in the chat and direct it to Laraba. Laraba. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're most welcome. Yeah. So please help us mute yourself again, Mr. Gabriel Padamosi. Um Guys, I'm going to advise us once again to please use the comment section properly. All your details have been captured on the form, and those interested in different, um, uh, different flavors will be contacted based on what you filled on the form. So please, and let's uh, be mature enough to enable this be a robust experience for everyone involved. So there's no sharing of personal WhatsApp links, because that's not right. In the comment section, you will see that we have shared the attendance sheet. The attendance sheet is to enable you get a certificate of participation. So please ensure you fill the attendance sheet. And let's stop asking for the attendance sheet. All we need to do is scroll up a little bit and we will see the link for the attendance sheet. Okay? Brilliant. So we're going to take two more questions on this and we're going to move on in order... Okay, I'm sorry, um, network issue. I'm back again. So we're just going to take two more questions and then we're going to move on to the final section. Um, two more questions. Let's just uh, have a look at who. Jonathan Omar Nogan. Omar Nogan. Jonathan. I hope I did not murder your name. Jonathan. Yes, Jonathan Omar Nogun. Omar Nogun. Yes, good afternoon. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, I had actually placed my. Okay, please. Thank you. We can hear you. All right. I had placed my questions in the chat box. Um, I want to know um, the means of engagement beyond now. And then um, if I have services to render, um, like editing, for instance, um, is it also what I can advertise on Kunga? Um, then 
How do I upload my products for sale on Conga? So, I have three questions. Um, I hope uh, you've captured all of them. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you please repeat the question again? I didn't quite get that. All right, thank you. Um, I said, how do I upload my product for sale on Conga? Um, what, yes, do you, yes. what do you uh, sell? I sell books. I sell test books. books. Okay, okay. Yes. Then um, how can I advertise my services? I do editing service, editing, proofreading, contract writing. Um, are they also services? Uh, I mean, are they uh, also what we can advertise on Conga? Then um, the means of engagement beyond now, I would appreciate to have. Thank you. Okay, I'll um, thank you. I'll take the first one, um, the books, right? Okay, so I mentioned earlier that for you to to um, upload your product, that the product that you sell on Conga platform, you're required to um, log into www.shq.conga.com for you to sign up, right? So once you sign up and then you um, fill in all the necessary information and the, the personal details, right? you'll be required to provide um, some useful some information. And that is um, your photograph, a means of valid ID, your utility bill. So the utility, utility bill should not be later than four months, right? Your bank details, because I mean, we'll always pay you, right? So we'll need you to input your bank details. So when you have your um, proceeds, right? We can always um, pay into your bank account. So you'll be required to provide a photograph, a valid ID, um, a utility bill, and then your bank details. Once you're verified, and then you've provided all of that and you're verified, you can just go ahead to list your products, right? Um, also, I just do not want to, because I think Laraba mentioned that um, the people that are interested will be shared um, the link, yeah, email and all that. So um, after that, as a first time seller, right? Um, you'll be also required to pay for a subscription plan, right? Okay. So, and, and then eventually it's, you can decide to have a free platform. Okay, so if you just sign up and then uh, I said it earlier also that there will always be somebody at every step to put you through. So once you sign up, once you do all of that, we'll contact you for training, we'll give you a call, we'll send you messages and email. So you always, we're very accessible. Laraba mentioned it's well transparent. There is no anky panky. Everything is plain black and white. What you see is what you get. We have explanations for everything. If you have um, um, concerns, we are very accessible. And then we, we also, um, we're very accessible. I mean, it's going to be plain black and white with us, right? Um, so I think Laraba will take the other question. Okay, so you, the other question is about services, rendering services and how I think sell, um, selling it through the platform. At the moment, it's not currently available as Shadi also mentioned, Conga is definitely finding ways to innovate day in, day out and it's already part of our plans to see how that part of um, services being rendered through the platform is going to be accessible to our customers. So it's something already in the works. And once it's available and going set to go live, definitely our customers will be informed and updated as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. 
Hi. Okay. So I think we were just taking the final question now, and then we move on to the last speaker. Um, the final question. Let's see, because we have still have even the people that have spoken, their hands are still up. Um, final question. I want to choose somebody that hasn't spoken before. Aisha Lawal. Aisha Lawal, are you available? Aisha Lawal, you may wish to unmute yourself. Okay, Aisha Lawal, you raised your hand, but you're not there. Okay, Aisha Lawal has gone on a break. Um, Yakubu Adamu. Okay, Aisha, I think you're back. Aisha Lawal. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Aisha. You have the floor. Please ask your question. I say that how to, if someone wants to work with Conga, how can I be the employee or either a volunteer so that the people are in the villages, we can go aware them about the Conga. You know, there is many people that are not using social media. So we can go and make awareness for them or facilitate the Congo. All right. Thank you so much, Aisha, for your um, interest in Conga. So basically, I'm sure you have um, signed up or you registered on the sheet that has been shared. Just indicate your interest to become an affiliate for Conga, and then we'll certainly reach out to you on the steps on how you can become an affiliate. However, I will try to see also if I can share a link in the comment section so that you can also maybe go through the process and um, sign up. But um, the first step is definitely to just probably register and also indicate also in your registration form so that we can follow up specifically with you. If you go through, based on how you register um, on your sign up or registration for this um, session so that we can contact you directly and we know that it's through this platform you came through. So, but I will still also share um, the link for registration to become an affiliate where you can promote the brand Conga to people who do not probably have access or do not know about us so that you can also even earn something from doing that. Thank you so much. Okay, brilliant. Thank you so, so, so much. We really enjoyed that session. Um, now we're going to move to the last speaker who is going to speak to us about um, the cadet program. So, so that's uh, Mr. Charles. So I don't know, is Mr. Charles available now so he can speak to us about the cadet program and then we can wrap up. After that, we'll take a few more questions and that will be it for today. It's been a very, very enjoyable session so far. So is Mr. Charles available yet? So we're just waiting for Mr. Charles. And I hope we've all um, been able to gain something today. Um, yes, you need to sign the attendance. It's important. The attendance is how you get your certificate. So please ensure you sign the attendance. The attendance, the link to the attendance form is above. We're not doing questions. Yes, there's giveaway and the giveaway is going to come at the end. So you hang in there. Um, but in life, we know everything is not always about giveaway um you need the registration link the registration link is in the chat section if you scroll up um we're waiting for mr charles to come on and he will do the last part which as i said is about the cadet program um you can still open it probably that might be due to your network so maybe try another computer and uh, you'll be able to open it. You know, guys, we have so many questions. And if we keep doing questions and questions, we'll probably be here till like 5 p.m. in the evening. And that won't help any of us. So um, some of the information will be sent to us. Just a second. <laughs>
Okay, so Mr. Charles will be joining us any minute now. Um, hi, Mr. Charles. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Over to you now as I mute myself. Okay, thank you very much. Um, sorry, I may have joined not so early, so I, I did not get your name, actually. All right, my name is Charles Udezo, and I work with Conga in the Human Resource Department. I have been asked to talk about the Conga Cadet Program. But before I, I, I venture into that conversation, um, initially when I joined, I was wondering why I need to talk about the cadet program because I could see that the ongoing conversation was around selling, selling, selling. So in my head, I was saying maybe 90, 95% of people who are on this platform at the moment are entrepreneurs, business people who have one or two products to sell or who are looking for how to sell on conga.com. Um, However, I also think that with the question Aisha asked, uh, there could be some level of relationship with what I'm supposed to address today. I'm also assuming that there are a few other persons who are on this platform too, who may also be wondering how they can get to work with Conga as employees. And if there are none, it is possible that you could have friends relations who may also be able to benefit from this information I am about to share very briefly. Um, just like some of my colleagues have said, if you look at what has been discussed today, if you have been following conga.com for a while, you will understand that conga has been doing a lot in this country. Um, one of the first questions someone asked today on this platform was, why is the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport uh, having this partnership with Conga? And I remember vividly the response that was given. Um, so, so Conga as a business has been supporting the Nigerian economy directly and indirectly for over nine years now. By next year, Conga will be 10 years in business. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot we've done already. And we are not just helping people through commerce. We're also creating a lot of job opportunities for teaming Nigerian youth at different levels. There are a lot of opportunities. You can work with Conga today in our retail stores because across the Federation, we have over 35 retail stores around the country, and the numbers are increasing every day. So there are opportunities for you to work for Conga in any of these retail stores and experience what we do. Larabao also mentioned the affiliate program. It is also a fantastic program that you, you, you can actually join and determine how much comes into your pocket. We call it the Conga Boss. We have it as an affiliate, but along within the same environment, we, we also call it the Conga Boss, which means it gives you an opportunity to be a boss of your own. I also had someone ask question along that side today. So you could actually, without spending money, without having capital, run a business and make a lot of profit through commission. So I encourage us even though I'm going to talk about the cadet program, but I encourage us, for those of us who will not be able to participate in that type of program, or who do not have friends or relations they may want to uh, tell the story of the Conga cadet program, to also find a way to participate in this affiliate program. And you are going to make a lot of money. The amount of money you make is in your hands. How much you sell is in your hands. And of course, the principle is the more you sell, the more money you have in your pocket. You can work with us as full-time em uh, employee because we are a very, very fair, non-partial employer 
of labor. Our job openings are always thrown out, publicized, and people across the country have opportunities to apply to work uh, for Conga. So if you are a job seeker, if you're an applicant, you just need to look out for opportunities whenever we advertise, look at roles that fit you, look at roles that align with your experience and your profession, and then apply. You'll be interviewed physically or remotely, and then you have opportunities to join us. We have retail stores in Abuja, we have in, in Kano, you know, and we have in a few other states, we have in a few other states within the north, within the southwest, in the southeast, everywhere across the country. And of course, there are also opportunities for people to intern with us, or of course, do NYSC when, when we have need for that, you know. And then the last will be the cadet program that I will talk about quickly. But before I talk about the cadet program, I just want to, uh, on a general note, let us know, because someone have, was asking about uh, a book, whether he can sell a book on Kong, and I think he was, he was rightly answered. But my brother, to just give you an idea, I had a friend, I had a friend, this happened last month, who needed a book urgently. It is a postgraduate textbook. He needed it urgently in Lagos. And one copy of that book is about 7,400. And he needed five copies urgently. He found it on Amazon and he also found it on Conga. And he called me up and said, how can I help you? I mean, how can I help him get this book? And I told him, you just need to order it. And coincidentally, because I know that the person asking this question may not be in Lagos. Um, coincidentally, the seller of this product, of this textbook, is in Kaduna. So this gives you an understanding of what the conga.com platform offers. So you can be in Kaduna, you can be in Niger State, you can be in Bunza, KB State, wherever you are. Just because you are an affiliate, just because you have decided to sell on conga.com, you upload your product. People everywhere in the country, and very soon, people within Africa will see that your product. And while you are sleeping, people are placing order. While you are eating, people are placing order. Another thing I also want to mention is that there is a slogan or a motto we have in Conga. I had one of my friends too who also mentioned that um, he wanted to buy a product on Conga by the time the delivery uh, cost was added or the shipping cost was added. It was almost equal to what he can buy in the open market. I think that could be a one-off instance. And the slogan we have in Conga, which we also preach to the general public is, before you buy anything, check prices on Conga. Before you buy, you, I, I encourage you to form that habit. If you want to buy anything, whether in a physical store or you want to buy anything in an e-commerce platform, whether it is our competition, whether it is on Instagram, wherever you see a product and you want to buy it. Before you buy it, please, can you first check the price on conga.com? And 99% of the time, I am assuring you that the prices you find on conga.com will be far more better. So please, like we say, before you buy anything, check prices on conga. The third thing I also want to mention before I move quickly into the cadet program is I want to use an opportunity to also let us know that as of today, we have a new business that is over six months old. We call it Conga Food. I'm bringing this just to also give us an idea of what it means to sell on Conga.com. Like I said, there is nothing you cannot sell on conga.com. Today, conga sells food. So at the comfort of your home, you can order food. 
and in less than 30, 40 minutes, it is delivered to you at the comfort of your home. Unfortunately, at the moment, we are still on a few parts. We're open already on the mainland in a few locations in Lagos. But in the coming months, we are going to spread. We are going to be very, very visible and available in so many locations. So you can tell your friends and also keep this at the back of your mind that the food business for Konga has been launched and we are going to get close to you in no distant time. Now, I've decided to create some of this background before I move into the cadet program, because I know some of you will be wondering what is the cadet program. In a very simple term, the cadet program is a program that Conga established some years back, where we give young Nigerian graduates opportunity to learn the business of e-commerce. And after learning that, I able to apply that skill they have learned, they have acquired working with Conga. And of course, it doesn't mean that you work for Conga all the days of your life. But then after learning it, you're able to work with Conga for as long as possible. And then from there, you can then take off if you want to move to other organizations, or other e-commerce businesses. And then the sky becomes your stepping point. And why are we running this cadet program? You will agree with me. I do not know how many, I think we're about 300 of close to 400 people on this platform. There is no one here today that will say that he went to the university or she went to the university to study e-commerce. Nobody on this platform can boast, even me who is speaking, even those of my colleagues and friends who have spoken earlier on can say that he or she went to university to learn e-commerce. E-commerce is a new business. In Europe today, we talk of Amazon and the likes. In Nigeria today, we talk of Conga. So it's a new business. It is not taught in school. You can't learn it in banks. You can only learn it within the e-commerce space. And I can boldly tell you that we are the number one organization, e-commerce business in Nigeria that offers that opportunity. Although it is very competitive, but it's something very, very available. We are doing to help create knowledge, to help share opportunities to young Nigerians, and also, of course, to create employment opportunity for people. We have this current program running in different departments, in the technology department, in the marketing de departments, and a few other departments within the business. And it is something very, very serious. In the past four or five years, I can boldly tell you that the Conga Cadet Program have trained hundreds of Nigerians who have graduated today. Some are still in Conga today. Some have moved on to different other organizations and are able to apply the knowledge and the skills they acquired during the cadet program in their different walks of life. And they are making a lot of progress. Because this e-commerce business is not taught in school, it is difficult for e-commerce organizations to be able to go to the open market and employ qualified, skilled, and experienced people who will come to do e-commerce. So as say, talent development strategy, we decided to start up this, this program. And the beauty about it, like I mentioned earlier, is that once you're able to pass through this program, learn, I will use the street language, you become a hot cake. A hot cake in the sense that as of today, there are a lot of e-commerce businesses coming into this country. And when they come, they are looking for people who have done 
e-commerce, who know e-commerce, who understand e-commerce. And they are literally kneeling and begging them to come and work for them. I'm not saying this to mean that once you finish your training with Conga, you should run away, but I'm just that you have become a star. I will tell you, in the last one year, post-COVID, there's a report that was recently run, and it shows that globally, globally, there was about 27% increase, 27% increase in the demand for app developers, app developers in the world. It is the same in Nigeria. It is the same in Congo. Because we are a technology company, we depend a lot on developers, software developers. We depend a lot on them. So 27% increase is the highest in every other uh, profession in the whole world. Software developers demand are on the increase. It is worsened by also what we call the great attrition, what we call the great attrition. I don't know how many of us have heard about the great attrition. The great attrition happened this year. In the US, for example, since April of 2021, statistics has it that over 19 million workers have left jobs in the US. So businesses are struggling to be able to recruit. Businesses are struggling to be able to replace these guys who have left. That level of attrition is impacting Did we lose Mr. Charles or is it me? If we lost him, can we may probably get a wave or someone comment in the comment section that we lost him? Okay, no more sounds. Okay, so it's not just me. We lost him. Okay, we didn't lose him. We, we lost his audio. Hmm? <laughs> Better. Um, so we're enjoying what Mr. Charles was talking about with the cadet program. And I know you guys all want to know about the work experience program as well. The work experience um, program also exists that we've asked you to sign up for, which is three months paid internship with um, Conga. What happens is um, with the paid internship, you're paid 20,000 Naira only as a stipend for per month. And um, that's paid by the ministry for three months. And by then you're done with, um, by then you're done with Conga or you're done with any organization that you start your internship with. And if the company wants to retain you, they retain you. That's if you're excellent at what you do. Um, you're not paid a salary, you're only paid 20,000 Naira a uh, stipend. Um, I think Mr. Charles is back. Mr. Charles, are you back? Yes, please. Brilliant. Mr. Charles is back, so um, I'll hand you back over to him. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles. Okay, so I think uh, I my network was disrupted without me knowing that I was just talking and blabbing without knowing I was talking to no one hearing. Okay, 
So just to narrow down and quickly summarize, I thought I was going to do this in 10 minutes, but I think I've taken up 25 minutes already. Um, so the cadet program uh, in summary is for young graduates and our attention and focus in a, is on specific uh, areas. The first and the major is on the technology department where you have a lot of software developers, programmers, um, the technology operations support team, the UI UX guys, and a whole lot. So there you have opportunity and there's a recruitment process for that. Um, once we throw the window open, we do not discriminate. It, it's a national recruitment. People from different parts of the country are given opportunity to apply. And there are stages of screening and test after which the final 20 or 30, as the case may be, depending on the budget for the year, will be selected. Once they are selected, we bring them down to Lagos if they are not in Lagos, and they are made to go through a six month intensive training. This training involves classroom training and on the job training. And within this period of time, you are paid a reasonable amount to sustain you. Something far, far, far more than what we have today as the minimum wage. You are paid a reasonable sum for that period of six months. And within that six months period, we expect you to be able to take your training serious because there's also going to be another test during the training and after the training. If we train 30 people during the cadet program and the 30 of them come out after six months as good, we keep the 30. In fact, we are very, very jealous with our trainees when they graduate because we want to give them full-time employment immediately after the training. And they have opportunity to work with the business for as long as one year, two years, three years, four years, as long as possible. I can tell you today, categorically, that 30% of our technology staff currently are cadet program graduates. So what it means is that these are people who joined Conga as cadets, who didn't know their left from their right, but we are trained and today they are developers, they are software engineers, and they are able to do a lot of magic that you see today on conga.com. So I encourage you, if you have opportunity to have gone through the university and you have graduated and you are looking for job, like I mentioned, you can apply to work in any of our retail stores. You can join the affiliate program. You can apply for other roles within the business whenever we advertise. And of course, if you are interested or if you have friends who are interested to join the Conga Cadet program, either in the digital marketing team, customer experience team, or the technology team, then I encourage you, I encourage you to be on the lookout because next year is a new year. And before the end of the first quarter of next year, if everything works out well, I think we should be able to we should be able to run our cadet program for next year. I know there will be a lot of persons who will want to understand how they can apply for jobs. I encourage you that whenever you see our job advert, send in your applications, um, our email for receiving applications is careers at conga.com. But I will not encourage you to just be throwing in CVs. Uh, uh, for for train sake, I will encourage you to look out.
for advertisements, broadcast around opportunities to work in Conga, because every time we have those spaces, we throw them open. So when such opportunities come in, just check and be sure that the email is careers at conga.com so that you are not deceived. Once it is careers at conga.com, then you know it is authentic. You can now send in your application. Um, I think this is the right point for me to stop um, and then take a few other questions if there are before I sign out completely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles. Uh, Mr. Jewu, are you still here with us? Um, just looking for Mr. Jewu to assist in conducting this um, question and answer session. Mr. Jewu Ibrahim? Yes, I'm, I'm on the call still. Oh, brilliant. Welcome, Mr. Jewu. So we just need to do some question and answer session now um, with Mr. Charles and in general. Um, so once we're done with, with the question and answers for Mr. Charles, we can take some general questions if um, the other speakers are still around. So um, over to you, Mr. Joe. You may wish to randomly pick um, people that have questions um, for Mr. Charles to assist them. It might be easier when if you go through the comment section because there's so many hands up. So maybe if you just check the comment section, who really needs to ask a question and then... Um, we can unmute them to ask their question. Thank you so much, Mr. Jehu and Mr. Charles. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Kemi. Um, I can see a question from Mr. Um, Charles. Just a minute. Uh, I saw a question from Mr. Charles asking how can he work for Conga? I think that question was answered earlier on. Uh, and then I see I see a lot of hands up. Maybe Mr. Abba Musa. Abba Musa, what's your question? You can unmute yourself and ask me the question. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Good evening. Good afternoon, Abba. How are you? Good. Allah. Yes. Uh, points. So you can I go ahead and question. ask your question. Yes. Mm -hmm. My question, I want I want to know the difference between Mr. Conga Abba and Musa. the Federal Ministry, Federal Ministry of Youth and Development. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Abba. All related. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to know how the federal... Please, can you ask the question again? And I lost you there for a while. Mm -hmm. I want to know the relationship uh, relation between Federal Ministry of Youth and the Conga. Okay, the relation between Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports and Conga. Well, it's very mm -hmm. simple. I explained uh, if you were at the introductory section, I explained to you that it is in the interest of government to make sure that uh, commercial activities or the economy remains uh, functional because it is the bedrock where everything stands that holds everything together. For, to, uh, for instance, if there's poverty, widespread poverty in Nigeria and all the Nigerian people are living in Nigeria, you know, Nigeria is not standing. You can call that a failed state. So uh, with what happened in uh, COVID 2000, uh, 2000 lockdown, you know what happened, right? There was an economic meltdown followed uh, caused directly uh, by the lockdown, which halted all commercial activities. So government, especially the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports, which is in charge of making sure that the well-being of youths in Nigeria uh, is in, in good order, decided to bring Conga on board to help the Nigerian youths to sell and market their goods and services so that it will now uh, engender commercial activities, thereby making the economy very successful, especially for SM, small and medium scale enterprises, which are generally run by youths. So that is between Conga 
and the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports, who have signed an MOU, a Memorandum of Understanding, to make sure all these ideas are being sent directly to you and you are able to make use of this platform to, uh, to improve your commercial activities. Thank you. I hope I've answered your question. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, all right, no problem. So you can mute. All right, so who next? Uh, Bello Badamasi, I would have preferred a lady. We've been having a lot of men taking over the but Bello Badamasi, you can ask your question since your hands are up. Hello? Yes, yes, please ask you your me? question. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. My question is goes like this. Uh, as a someone who wanted to go into um, fishing farming. Understand? Fish farming. So, okay. Yeah, we're fishing farming. So how can I advertise my products in Congo? And how can Federal Ministry of Youth Transport can help me in order to achieve my aims? In order to take my business to the next level. Okay, as someone who is into who is going to fish farming, uh, I'll I'll want to I want to assume that you've done all your homework on how to invest on the said uh, uh, business you're going to, which is fish farming. You've mapped out your market, your target audience, and what have you, and you'll find. For a product like fish, every it sells all over Nigeria, doesn't it? There's no place in Nigeria that they don't eat fish. I've never heard of that village. Can you tell me any village in Nigeria you've heard of that they don't eat fish? No, there. So, and there's none. Thank you very much. I've never heard of it in the world even. So now you have a marketplace that is all over Nigeria, and you have uh, people even in Ghana assessing your product. So as a, a small scale fish farmer, let's say maybe you produce a, a thousand uh, fishes, you know, and uh, you know, a fish is something that when you produce it, you need, you need to know, map out the time that you're going to harvest your fishes. So you can now start advertising through Conga online. And you will have a larger market all over Nigeria. Maybe in, where are you from right now? Where are you right now? I'm from Adamawa State. Okay, maybe in Adamawa there, uh, a lot of people, maybe in your village in Adamawa, people don't need a thousand uh, fishes. They want, they like to buy uh, sparingly a few, a few fishes. And you want to sell, let's say 800 or to a thousand fishes so that you get your money back quickly. The best way is to use the economy of scale, the large market that has been created by the online platform called Ponga. Then you have about, uh, maybe you are reaching about 100 million Nigerians online, and you have people that are willing to buy that 1,000 fish at a go, and then you get your money back quickly. So you can use Conga to market, uh, not mining geography, your geographical location, you are selling to people maybe in Lagos that need the fish. Maybe those people are buying it to, to do something else with it, to export or what have you. So Conga can really widen your reach to your audience, your target audience, wherever they may be. And it can also help you with transportation. Maybe let's say these fishes have been uh, dried. I, do not, I don't know whether they have any facility for, for transporting <laughs> fresh fish. But I think maybe dried fish could be exported also, could be taken all over. So, so you see where Ponga can help you. I hope I've answered your question. Okay, um, I Thank have another you. question. All right, go ahead. Okay, my, my next question is that I wanted to know, in order to, you know, to be, to be part of Conga, Mm. Is that necessary for me to invest my money? Or come okay, down? I will just register for free. Uh, it depends on what part of Conga you want to be. Like we heard uh, from the second speaker onward, 
they were speaking about the POS. The POS, you do not have to pay money. And you can you can just signify your your willingness to be a partner with them for the POS. And you make money every trans each transaction that you that is done to you, you make like 30% of that money. And you are sitting doing other businesses while you're doing your fish business by the other side before your fish is harvested. So you see, and then they have the cadet program where you get to work with Conga for a while without uh, having to invest your money. So they're not only thinking about you investing your money, they're thinking about how you can make money through the platform. That is why the Ministry of Youth and Sports have partnered with Conga because we're trying to see how Conga can reach, can help the Nigerian youth to, to further develop their business uh, acumen or their business portfolio and to sell more things online. So that is why the partnership is there. Okay. So now I fully understand. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, who else? Uh, a lady. Can I have a lady uh, ask the next question? Okay. A lot of men. Uh, well, all the ladies. Don't the ladies want to make money? Don't they want to better their SMBs? Ladies are not, uh, are not, are not uh, interested. Anyway, let me give a man since the lady is not there. Uh, Garuba Ayuba. No. Oh, wait, wait, Garuba, I will come back to you. I want to get someone from another part of the con country. Lotana Namani. Mr. Namani, you may, you may ask your question, please. Thank you, Mr. Namani. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Please. Um. I the cadet program. I'm interested in that one, so I'm looking forward to. That. Uh, just a minute, please. Could you please tell us where you're calling from? Okay. I'm calling from. I'm calling from Enugu. Enugu. Thank you very much. Thank you. So yes, the so, cadet program, you want to know more about it? Yeah, so the cadet program, I'm interested in it because I'm into uh, web development, JavaScript. So okay, I'm JavaScript. looking forward to it. Yes, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I do web design. And I have idea on UI UX. So I'm really okay. looking forward to it. He said, he said it was going to start the first quarter of next year, but I don't okay. really know. There's one, they said it's for three months. I don't know if that is because he said that one first quarter of next year will be a six months program that will be intense. And if they finish that one, they can absorb people. So I want to be sure when the one of the three months um, partnership between Conga and FMYSD is going to kick off, whether is this is um, early next year or um, after the second quarter of next year. That's my first question. I hope, is it clear? Okay, Mr. Mr. Namani, I, I get your question loud and clear. We are going to yeah, try then, and get back to you. Okay, then the debates. second okay, then the second question. And I'll okay. The second question. Um there was a program that um FMYZ organized. Okay, I'm hearing you. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Namani, Mr. Namani, uh, I think the network is really affecting you. Mr. Namani, I think uh, network has really thrown you out. Oh, you are still there. I would see, I see, um, computer. Okay, Internet of Things. Mr. Namani seems to have been thrown out of the network. He was talking about the, inter uh, the program arranged by the ministry where they treated Internet of Things. All these things will be, you should follow the ministry social media platforms like uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and the ministry platform, Gong, that's the ministry port. So you should try and keep on checking all the sites. You'll, you'll get an update on that. 
But as far as the Conga uh, cadet program, we'll get back to you on that one. So thank you very much. Uh, I think you have answered the question. Bello Badamasi, have you asked a question before? Bello? Okay. All right, let's move to the Abraham Adeyinka. Mr. Adeyinka? Oh, well, he has, he seems to have left. All right, let me see. Abdul Jalal Mohammed, your hands are raised. Can you go ahead and ask your question? Abdul Jalal Mohammed. Uh, hello. Hello, Abdul Jalal. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I hope you've been following the program and enjoying the benefits yeah. of it already. Thank you. Yeah. So, go ahead. I said I'm currently, I'm currently a university student. Okay. So, can I join the affiliate program? Is it possible for me to join the uh, affiliate program? Uh, as a university student, um, I think maybe Mr. Program. Charles might be better to answer that question. If Mr. Charles is still there. Okay. Mr. Charles? Maybe Mr. Charles has gone. Mr. Charles. When Mr. Charles comes back, I think you answered that. Okay, so Mr. Charles will get back to you on that one. He's the best person to answer that question because it's directed directly at Konga. So okay. I'll move on to the next question. No lady in the house. The ladies are not interested in e-commerce. Uh -uh. I prefer the ladies to ask questions too. So I think they are sick. We held the program for only... Okay, my sister here read... You did not write your correct name. So go ahead, go ahead and ask your question. My sister, red MI9. Uh, you can go sir? ahead. Hello, hello. How are you? What's your sir? name? Your name is not written on the platform. Halima Muhammad, sir. Halima Muhammad calling in from where, please? From Zamfara State. Okay. Go ahead and ask your question. My question is, how do one get to post his goods and services on the Conga platform? Or must one send his goods to the, Conga, to the Conga center or to, their, to any of their outlet for them to, to sell their goods? Okay, again, this is a question that would have been better answered by Mr. Charles, but it was answered earlier on first of all you need just need a good phone with a good connection uh-huh okay. you, you need a very good smartphone you can snap your goods and services register okay. with conga online yes there's a if you search conga you download the app you are going to find how to oh, there's a place where you snap your goods with your phone camera and then you upload them it is so self-explanatory and so easy step by step and every step of the way if you run into problem, there is a section, a chat box where you can contact uh, the administration, whoever is administering the site or the application, and they'll get back to you okay. as soon as possible. Okay, thank uh, you. It was answered earlier on. Thank you very thank much. You. Thanks for thank your you. question. All right, you may mute yourself now. Let me go to the next uh, question still looking for a lady or someone uh, first of all I want to okay I have asked a lot from the north I want to move a bit to the south and then come back you know so that should be how we reflect so Timothy you may go ahead and speak. Ele Wade. I, did I get it right? Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself. Go ahead and introduce yourself properly. Okay, 
betul tak yang bikin ini kan I think uh, your network there is a bit faulty. You may think about, you may want to consider moving somewhere else. We can't hear you. Or am I, am I the only one ha having the problem with his vocals? I think, uh, okay. So you might consider changing your location before you speak. We cannot hear you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come back to you. So, uh, Yusuf Mohammed Saidu, you have been asking to speak for a long while. Okay, yeah, Yusuf. Okay. okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, everybody who's not speaking, kindly mute yourself. Thank you, okay. because it's going to take some time for me to run around to mute. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank you for your time and efforts. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. My name is Yusuf Mohammed and I'm speaking from Potiskum local government of Best State. Okay. Okay, so I would like to ask you a question, please. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Okay, how can someone become Go ahead and speak. I've unmuted you. Mr. Timothy, go ahead and speak to me. Speak to us, rather. Oh my God. I think it has to do with your microphone. I think it has to do with your device microphone because I can see that you left your uh, where you were before, but we still can't hear you. So you might need to check your device uh, microphone. I've unmuted you, but we can't hear you. Okay, Mr. Timothy, sorry. Okay, I think we're struggling for sound. Mr. Jeu, are you still there? We'll give Mr. Jeu a couple oh, of I'm seconds. Oh, I'm there. Oh, brilliant. There. Okay. I'm... Welcome back. Okay, Mrs. Are, are they... Okay, I'll, let me ask someone else. Let's see, Joseph Silence. Silas, you have a question? Joseph Silence. Mr. Joseph Silas, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, you need to unmute yourself, Mr. Joseph. I've unmuted you. So go ahead and okay. ask your question. Okay, good morning, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. It's afternoon already, you didn't notice. <laughs> 
All right, you're welcome. Okay. So uh, please let, let us know your location and uh, what are your questions. Okay, I'm from the Borno State. Okay, Borno State. My question is that. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. My question is that is it only a graduate that can apply for the cadet or even someone with someone, can someone apply with, for please the please could you say that again? Program. Could you repeat that again, please? Your question again. Is it only a graduate or someone okay, with sir. my okay? My question is that is it only a graduate that can apply for the cadet or someone with ND or NCE certificate can apply for the cadet program? Okay, thank you very much. Again, this will be a question best answered by Mr. Mr. Charles. So we will we'll, we'll table that question to Mr. Charles and he'll answer it when he gets back online. So please stay online. Thank you very much. Is that your only a question? Do you have any other question? Okay, thank you. Mr. Charles will, my colleague, Mr. Charles will get back. Yes, good afternoon, but I can. I can hear you and I can't. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me. I can hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. My name is Chuku Thank Christopher. My name is Chuku Christopher Onyeka. Okay, sir. And where are you calling yeah. from? Uh, Yes, I'm, I'm joining you from uh, Huaibong State. Okay. I'm the MD, MD Data Fees Technologies Limited. And uh, it's a very nice thing that uh, I key into the program, wonderful program like this. I am running a, what I call a, a financial inclusion center where we are able to do uh, some uh, ICT businesses for people. And um, e commerce, uh, I think, is a welcome idea something that will help my my business i want to really partner with uh, you people and then um, like right now we partner with nipsey we are doing nie uh, nin we are doing a different enrollment we partner with banks we can do things like um instant account opening and linking of them card renewal of cards uh register jam registration and all those things so those are areas of our services. We are just into services of, of a team. And uh, I really like this uh, e-commerce of uh, a team, please. I don't know if I can get a link directly on my um, uh, WhatsApp message or my uh, this in, uh, my email address on how uh, possible ways I can partner with Munga uh, on this uh, e-commerce business. Okay, Mr. Chuku Onyeka, uh, yes, that was a very good uh, addition to the whole program. I think uh, where you are, your locality, Konga would really love to, to maybe create awareness about, about their products and services at the grassroots. And they have uh, the POS and the cadet centers, the cadet program, which they, I believe they will want to make very aware make aware in your locality. So I promise you we'll get back to you. We'll report this, we'll table this to Mr. Charles, who will definitely will get back to you. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. All right. So uh, next is um, Ekemini Asuko. Ekemini, you can go ahead and ask your question. Okay, sir. Thank you for the privilege. I so much enjoy your program. Hope you can hear me. I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. I so much enjoy your program. But one thing I wanted to ask this question since I needed to know the age limit. If there is something like age limit, in order to be a cadet for the program. Then another thing, how is your company doing in order to meet the unbanked people in the villages? Because I got to know that your offices, as in conquer offices, is normally in the town, in every city, and they are not reaching out to the people in the villages. How is your company doing in order to get to the root? Hello, sir. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Akemi Asuko. I can hear your question. Uh, I represent the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports, and some of the questions you are asking are directly to Conga. That is why we have a lot of Conga uh, facilitators online. However, a lot of these questions have already been answered. Uh, the, the program is, is for youth. You understand? If you fall within the, the, the age indices for youth, which is from 15 to 35. But however, we are still going to table it to Mr. To Mr. Charles when he comes back on the call or when we get back to get, uh, to let you know whether there is an extension to the age limit. It was meant for youth, but if you run an SME, a small and medium, what business do you run right now? Okay, I'm into POS business. POS business, so you are running a small and medium scale enterprise. So definitely there has to be a concession for you when it comes to age. So I think he will make it so he will make it very clear, so that you can be able to participate in either the cadet program or the POS uh, or the on on onboarding on program, so that you can earn some 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 money from that, or do some business from that. So, but we'll get back to you as soon as we table these questions to Mr. Charles. And uh, do you have any other questions? Oh, thank you, sir. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I have um, I, I have someone asking how can we register for the internship? The links, the links will be provided. The links have been provided, and I think we will provide it again before we close this program today. Then, um, Abdul Malik, Abdul Malik Mohammed, are you still on the call? Abdul Malik Mohammed, you can go ahead. I've unmuted you. You can ask your question. If he's not still on the call, I'll have to give Mr. Pascal Chimeze. Pascal Chimeze, are you on the call? Okay. I believe Mr. Charles is here with us right now. Mr. Charles, you're welcome back to the call. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I've actually been trying to speak, but I couldn't unmute myself. So. Oh, okay, sir. So I take it you heard all the questions able to use. Not necessarily, but I think I, I had someone who was asking about the cadet program, whether it's going to happen next year, first quarter or something. Okay, um, yes. So, so it is it by our calendar. It is supposed to happen within the first quarter, but for some reasons, I cannot give assurances of that. Um, but just like you rightly mentioned, if they are following the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports and the youth development on on social media, and if also they are following us on our social media platform it is not going to be something that will elude them um, it is not something we do secretly 
any time we're about to open the window, the ministry will be aware of it to publicize it. We're also going to publicize it on our Instagram and other social media handles as we always do. Um, so that that is that is the that is the uh, that is the one of the questions. Thank you, sir. Yes. And uh, also, Mr. Ekimi Asuko was asking, is there any age limit to the cadet program? Do you have any age limit to those who can apply for the cadet program? Thank you. Um, we don't really have any age limit per se. However, um, what is important is that someone is a graduate, applies, and uh, is able to pass through the recruitment process. Once you pass through and you are shortlisted, then you are in. So there is no age limit. Also, uh, he was also asking if there is, uh, if, if, if one needs to be a university graduate or if you hold a diploma, you can still apply. We'd like to know that one too. For our retail Green Hunt program, there's also our cadet program we call Green Hunt program, which is for our retail stores. Um, we're here with SSCE. The diploma, uh, you can participate in that and have different durations. And have different. You need to be at least a graduate. If you're not a graduate, then you must show reasonable, reasonable knowledge and skill within any of the programming languages to be able to um, survive. Mr. Chan. Yes, please. Hello? Okay, Mr. Charles. Can, can you hear me? Like we had another participant who then saying that, yes, uh, you may have to take that one again, Mr. Charles, because network was really interfering with what you were saying, sir. Okay. Okay, so what I'm saying is, all right. You, we have different types of training programs. We have the ones we do for our retail stores um which is one i have mentioned earlier that we have over 35 retail stores across the country we call it it's a cadet program but it's quite short usually two weeks and we call it a we call it a green hunt program right it's also a cadet training but for our retail offline stores that you can participate whether you have ssc ond diploma hnd or what have you but for our cadet program, which is specific to technology, you need to be a graduate. You need to have at least completed your NYC to apply. However, if you are not a graduate, if you are not a degree holder, you have OND or diploma or what have you, for you to survive, you must have, have a reasonable level of skill and understanding of any of the programming languages to be able to survive the recruitment process. Uh, bottom line is, whoever you are, however you are, just apply if you think you are qualified. And once you scale through the recruitment, then you have an opportunity to work with us. Thank you very much, Mr. Charles. I believe it has answered his, uh, his answer has covered a lot of questions that have been asked. A lot of people wanted to know how the recruitment process is, what is the cutoff age, and what is the um, degree requirement. I believe his answer has covered all of this ones for now. Thank you very much, Mr. Charles. Thank you. Thank you. So, so any other questions? So uh, quickly before we round up, uh, I think it was Mr. Okay, let's hear from Mrs. Matilda Ame. Matilda, you can go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Okay, we have a, a, a Matilda. Hello. Thank you. Okay, I don't think Matilda is on the call, so you can go ahead, Mr. Jaffa. 
Go ahead and speak. Go ahead. Ask your question. Yes, go ahead. Oh boy. All right, so let's hear from Ogene Olori. Ogene, are you still on the call? We ju we're just taking a few more questions before we round up. I think we're, we're good for the day. And like I promised, the links will be posted back again. So you should just uh, watch out for them so you can register for, for, for the program. And for the other programs, they will, we told you follow the uh, social media handles of the ministry and that of Ponga, and you will you'll be posted whenever the programs are up. Ogene Olori. Ogene Mero Olori. Okay. If she's not on the call, let's go to Abba Arome. Abba Arome, are you still on the call? Abba Arome. I think we'll be rounding up if nobody has a question. Uh, I think we are going to start rounding up. Let me see. Anas Abubakar, do you have a question? Your hands are raised. Please ask your question while Mr. Charles Udezo is still around so that you have you so that you can hear from the from the specialist mouth himself. Okay. Um, Mr. Jehu, Mr. Charles, I'm, I think we're good to go, right? Yes, we're good to go. Yes, I think so. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Well done to all the speakers. Um, you've done an awesome job, both from Conga and from Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports. But most of all, well done to all the participants. You've done really, really well for staying online this long. It shows how committed you are your future and i know that this partnership between the federal ministry of youth and sports development and conga is going to give birth to great many businesses as well as well for um, everyone involved thank you thank you very much Ma. Please, okay. let's all have a wonderful day. You've all been wonderful, like she said. Thank you. I have shared um, both the links. So you have the attendance which is your certificate that's been shared. Then you also have the um, link for the um, Conga POS. That's also been shared. So you've got all that you want in the connection. Giveaways. Um, click on So make sure you follow on Instagram at Nigeria F M Y S D. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Jehu. Thank you, Mr. Nick. Thank you, Conga. Thank you, F M Y S D. And uh, I do hope we'll meet again when we've all started making money. All right, then. Do have a wonderful afternoon and a beautiful holiday. Take care, everyone, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mark.